Hey guys, it's Nice and welcome back to my channel. So I am with my friend Warren today. Hey. <laughs> and so we wanted to talk about some, I don't know, we're just gonna vibe, we're just gonna chat. So Warren's really awesome because we were working together one day and we were, he was just like dropping a bunch of knowledge on me about like all kinds of different things or talking about like new earth and inner earth and the maps and stuff like that so i like his his wavelength and his vibration and what he you know like we're well you know when you meet other spiritual people it's like oh my god you think that too or right you know, right and they definitely come few and far between exactly so it's really nice to finally when we meet up on the 3d plane can we talk about so in my opinion i think this is something that's happening right now a lot of spiritual people are finally be able are finally able to find each other and like right. connect with each other um which is an interesting time it is, it's a time that's creating separation from people that don't fit your lifestyle and the people that do is is connecting it stronger yes so this is a huge thing in the spiritual community they call it the the great divide or the great split and so it's like the people who you're in alignment with the people who basically think the same or spiritual or whatever you guys will start vibrating and resonating together and fighting each other and then those people who are still stuck in the 3d world like stuck in the matrix or like afraid of the media afraid of the news and all that you guys will notice that you can't really hang out with them or like it's hard to hang out with them it feels like a burden or a job yes so it's because the frequency is off they might feel heavier or denser because they believe a lot of what's going on in the 3d world is true but the people People who are spiritual or awakening and things of that nature we are becoming lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter in frequency because we see all of this collapsing and crumbling like we see the banking system for what it is the money system for what it is we see the government for what it is uh, you know like all these laws and bans and restrictions like it's all a lie it, it <laughs> is it's like the control systems are coming down on all of us yes and so Warren and I were talking uh, a few weeks ago about um, like the money the collapse of money and how like now is the time for the wealth transfer like if you're gonna make your money make it now because the old system is collapsing <laughs> there will be no more money to collect in the old system the dollar has been depreciating every single day and yeah no yeah we we have to be our own currency now i and, say and this that, all the time <laughs> yes we, but we really are the currency yeah people are the currency and you're the currency because you wield the gifts and the talents you have to attract money or resources to you. In the old paradigm, people thought they had to go to work, work jobs that they hated, um, but that is a form of slavery. So in the old system, humans were kind of slaves to the government or slaves to, I wanna say to the government, because we don't really need to be governed. If you break down the word government, it's just like, people governing you because you don't know how to have sovereignty over yourself exactly and d the different governments just represent different corporations or different yeah like different corporations different companies that right. people work for within the nation right and they get their powers from the consent of the government yes your consent you we are consenting especially when you're like voting and stuff like that like you know when pe people like yell at you like you have to vote you need to vote that is a tactic to keep you in the game because you are giving mm -hmm. it like even though your vote really doesn't matter because they are choosing the president or whoever anyway regardless of what we choose um it just tells them it's a it's a tally of how many people are still buying into the old game i think yeah 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 it's an illusion it's it, an illusion but that's what this entire thing is it's just one big illusion but you guys already know that right you all know that you're, you're yeah. witnessing it collapse <laughs> um but yeah is there anything else we wanted to talk about i mean like um i don't know there's so many things but yeah, it's, just a, it's a wide range we could really go anywhere yeah um like hmm the last thing i want to say is like how to finally escape the rat race because it's something we talk about all the time you will okay. never be able to escape the matrix what's going on here these systems if all you're doing is paying your bills every month you are always going to have bills every single month until you die how it is set up but if you can make m enough money to pay your bills and then also make an investment into something else that is how you get off the hamster wheel 
and hopefully your investment is a uh, cash flow it produces cash flow so eventually you can fire your nine to five or leave your nine to five and do your side hustle or your business or maybe you bought dividend paying stocks and now the stocks pay for whatever so just yeah. things to think about and i always say that trading time for money you will never have enough money you, exactly you'll never get enough time is our only real resource or the only real commodity and mm -hmm. they will let you use it up until you're dead they want you to they waste. want your time yes and your energy and your energy that's how you this is how you pay the system with your time with your life force if you're giving them your time you're giving them your life force because mm -hmm. everyone has to die right. <laughs> this is so morbid so, you all have to die <laughs> right and then you're not getting your energy you're not getting your time so you're sacrificing yourself at the expense of a company exactly. it's something as simple as that you know? exactly so you'll never be able to buy your time back until you invest your money that you take the money that they give you and you have to put it into something else you have to put it into a income uh an income driven asset mm -hmm. you have to let the money make the money you gotta put your money to work for you or you'll <laughs> always be on the hamster wheel right just fun things we're learning about. don't break your back to make money break your money's back making money because because <laughs> the, the money is not gonna complain it's not it's just gonna get to work it's not right. so put your money to work it so wants you, to work it wants to work <laughs> money wants to circulate again that's what currency means currency is the flow of energy Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're just putting your money in the bank, which that is a terrible idea anyway, because again, your money is depreciating in the bank and the bank is just taking your money and pimping it out anyway. You might as well pimp your own money out. So, <laughs> couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> yes. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you guys, uh, I want you guys to check out Warren's channel. He is on YouTube now. Warren, what's your YouTube channel? Yeah, so it's Live X Genius. Nice. And I will you put know. it in the description for you guys, too. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you do on your channel? So, I'm gardening, farming, foraging, wild herbs, medicinal herbs. We're also shooting commercials for, you know, businesses, yoga, all types of things, film, cinema everything like that yes and i'm trying to convince warren to do spiritual chats too because it's actually very informative we were hanging out the other day <laughs> and he was telling me about how uh the plant cycle or how plants grow is correlated to astrology and the zodiac signs and he was like blowing my mind so <laughs> he's got knowledge for days you guys go to his youtube channel subscribe comment on one of his videos let him know i sent you and um yeah he's gonna be gardening and doing all kinds of fun stuff over there yeah yeah so look forward to more from me from niger and you know we're gonna keep it going and going and going yay thank you Warren, for being <laughs> in my video guys i, I hijacked yeah. him i was like why you have to be in my video today so <laughs> well, thank you for having me <laughs> thank you thank you all right guys we'll see you in the next video bye